Hi. Let's learn about the break-even point. The break-even point for a trade or investment is determined by comparing the market price of an asset to the original cost. The break-even point is reached when the two prices are equal. In corporate accounting, the break-even point BEP, formula is determined by dividing the total fixed costs associated with production by the revenue per individual unit minus the variable costs per unit. Break-even points can be applied to a wide variety of contexts. For instance, the break-even point in a property would be how much money the homeowner would need to generate from a sale to exactly offset the net purchase price, inclusive of closing costs, taxes, fees, insurance, and interest paid on the mortgage. Traders apply BEPs to trades, figuring out what price a security must reach to exactly cover all costs associated with a trade. A company's break-even point is likewise calculated by taking fixed costs and dividing that figure by the gross profit margin percentage. For example, if an investor buys Microsoft stock at $110, that is now their break-even point on the trade. If the price moves above $110, the investor is making money. If the stock drops below $110, they are losing money. If the price stays right at $110, they are at the BEP, because they are not making or losing anything. For options trading, the break-even point is the market price that an underlying asset must reach for an option buyer to avoid a loss if they exercise the option. For a call buyer, the break-even point is reached and the underlying asset is equal to the strike price plus the premium paid. Assume that an investor pays a $5 premium for an Apple stock call option with a $170 strike price. This means that the break-even point for the call option is the $170 strike price plus the $5 call premium, or $175. Assume an investor pays a $4 premium for a Meta put option with a $180 strike price. The put position's break-even price is $180 minus the $4 premium, or $176. If the stock is trading above that price, then the benefit of the option has not exceeded its cost. The break-even formula for a business provides a dollar figure that is needed to break even. This can be converted into units by calculating the contribution margin. Divide the fixed costs by the contribution margin to determine how many units the company has to sell to break even. Here are two key takeaways. 1. In accounting, the break-even point is the point at which the costs of production equal the revenues for a product. 2. The break-even analysis can help with finding missing expenses, limiting decisions based on emotions, establishing goals, securing funding, and setting appropriate prices. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.